Today I wanted to show you how you can turn hand-drawn characters into AR models and have them animated so that they can, can have more life to them. We are going to create a plane. The plane we are going to animate with some animations from Mixamo. Then we will upload those into something that an AR or WebXR scene and that will be pretty much the extent of it. So this is a pretty quick and straightforward project. So you can draw a picture, take a picture of it with a camera, upload that camera image to Blender, and then what we're going to do is subdivide. So you need to subdivide quite a few times, and that should give you a plane with a bunch of subdivisions, and then you can start deleting out faces that are not included in your image. So just kind of removing the ones that aren't useful, and that will kind of leave you with a nicer image. And then you can use the knife tool to cut off any little tidbits and make it less of a square. And so if you do that, then you should end up with a reasonably good plane that uh, is very close to the character that you've created. The next thing that you're going to do is make sure that you have animation from Xmo, uh, and then you have to overlay the two. So you have to have the plane that you've created intersecting with the Mixmo armature. Press Alt G and Alt R when you are on the pose mode of the armature, and that will convert it back to its base position. So that will make Make it kind of in a T pose like position. And so once you have your T pose model lined up with the T pose of the armature, you can click on your object and then Alt click or Control click on the armature. Then you go to Object, Parent, Armature Deform with automatic weights. When you're doing this with a plane, you tend to have really poor automatic weights. So you have to redraw some of those weights. So if you click on your plane and then you go to Weight Draw drawing in your object mode drop down, then you will have something that will allow you to draw the different weights of different parts. And so in particular, the shoulders and the hips and legs tend to be very messed up when you're using a plane instead of an actual 3D model. So you have to repaint these so that it looks a lot better. And once you have all of the repainting done, so you just repaint the different parts of the body the way that you'd expect them to be. Once you've done all the repainting, you can export this model to GLTF and you want to embed everything so that it has everything there. And that's about the whole of it. Because this project really requires shadows, we're going to use the light estimation project we had worked on previously. And so to start with, we are going to load up a GLTF model. We will scale it and then position it to where we want the animation to start. And then we have to use an animation mixer to get the animation from the scene. And then we will just start playing that animation with this mixer clit action value. And then after this, we have to add in some extra values for to show that we are not pulling. And then we have to make sure that it's casting a shadow. In our 3D scene, the ground actually doesn't exist. So we have to create a plane to represent the ground. And so that's this Geometry 2000. And we can just add a shadow material to it. And then that will be what casts the shadow. You could also include this as a mesh as well. Like We could also use a more complicated structure than just a plane. But I think for now, a plane is a very nice way of do dealing with this. And we have to make sure that the plane is positioned in the correct way and uh, and allow it to receive shadows. And that should be all for the coding. So I've been a little bit busy with another project, but eventually I want to extend this with some finite state machines and add a controller to it so that you can actually control the character. And then hopefully we can add in some meshes on top of that and make a much more dynamic system. But that's going to be for a later date. 